Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Um, so first of all, what you do, you have your little bone here, and we want to have a basin. Um, you can just use this kind of stuff that you get for kids in, in any supermarket. And you make a little basin for the water, because you, you need water, otherwise it'll heat up and powderize the whole bone. This is um, well, a big saucer to keep uh, the water while you pour water on top, and a bank which is filled with sand to stabilize the bone. So you just put the bone here, and you fill water into this little basin. Just make sure it's, it's oops, I have was a bit too much. Make sure it's well sealed. Um, and then this stand actually unfortunately broke, so it, we can't use it that nicely anymore. But I'll show you nevertheless so that you get an idea of how it's supposed to work. So um, I have to hold it like that now. And you switch on the drill. That's a very nice speed. You, you lower the whole thing. Usually you have a screw here, but you lower the whole thing so that it's shortly above the water level, or even lower. And then actually you just pull it down and bring it down to the bone and, and start drilling. And then you, sometimes it takes ages, like for this bone it will take an hour. Sometimes it's just 10 minutes, depends on the bone. Uh, make sure you drill all the way through the little bit of medullary cavity or even further. And when you finish, say we drill it now, so we, we lift it up. We switch off that one. So it's a bit awkward, so I'm going to tighten this again. Um, while you're drilling, make sure you pour enough water into it all the time. That's very important. So that there would, should always be water in there and, and maybe clean water would be best. So sometimes the core gets stuck in this little drill bit. That's why you've got this little hole here. You can just take a tweezers and just you know, push it out or whatever. Sometimes the core is still stuck in the bone like this one here. You can use your tweezers to shake it a little bit. If that doesn't work, you use something like this here, like a preparation needle, and you can carefully try to um, get it off the, the rest of the bone. It's usually easier when you have a long core. This is only a very short core to demonstrate how it works. So once you've kind of broke it off the rest of the bone, you can just lift it out easily, and that's pretty much it. Um, one other thing, um, you might want to um, make a little marker here with an edding or so to show um, the direction of the, the bone shaft because otherwise it might be difficult to reconstruct afterwards. And yeah, so that's pretty much it.